winning. <laughs> yeah, you think so. Sure. It is. Watch everybody gonna love it. Watch. Whatever. I don't think so. You ready? Hi friends, this is Wani. And this is Mr. B. And welcome back to the Wani and Mr. B show. So today's topic is kind of be it's about something that kind of happened today. And Mr. B thought that it would be a great topic to share with you guys today. So um, a couple of weeks ago when we asked you guys for questions or things that we could talk about, one of you guys, and I think it was Tori Tori, um, asked about being empty nesters. And so we hit on that just for a minute, but today we really were empty nesters. And so we were really empty nesters. <laughs> we were really empty nesters. So today's topic is going to be how do you know when you are really an empty nester? <laughs> <laughs> and trust me, America, I was cleaning up butt naked. All through the house today. I mean, not a care in the world. I didn't even think about my daughter being around. I usually put on something. I'm out here vacuuming the floor. We having a good old time. She cleaning up, and I'm not, I'm upstairs. She downstairs. We just a regular old Saturday. And I said, "Nah, baby, I'm right here, butt naked, cleaning up, vacuuming the floor, without a care in the world. Like I lived in Africa or something, where like I was in my habitat. So." I just wanted to let everybody know what y'all feel about me and the empty nester. I know your kids may be teenage years, 17, 18, about to go to college. Trust me, when you're going to be an empty nester, you're going to be in Nirvana. It's going to be something that you can't even explain. You're going to love it. I remember when Puda first left to go home and everybody told us, like the older people, like my aunts and uncles, everybody would say, like, Oh my God, you guys are going to be empty nesters. What are you going to do with all your time? Y'all can now have sex all over the house. Of course, they didn't say have sex, but you know that y'all can be all over the house. And I was like, what? Mm -hmm. And then you hear people tell me, oh, you can walk around naked and you know, just don't have a care. And oh my goodness, that is so true. We literally walk around naked and the window open the back windows open in our backyard there's nothing but trees but imagine if there were houses back there we would really give somebody a show because we are really showing our butts <laughs> literally <laughs> so we having a good time so we just want to know how y'all feel about me and empty nesters you know it's, it's a great feeling something that you can't take back you know when your kids are gone you can you can be grown, you know what I'm saying? When your kids is gone, you can be grown. That's gonna be a song. But anyway, uh, um, you know, just enjoy it, man. If you are, God bless you. And if you're about to come into one, you're gonna be blessed. It's gonna be a blessing. It's gonna be worth all them years of getting them up, going to school, getting them ready for the school bus, picking them up, getting ready for the prom and all that. It's gonna be worth it. When you can wake up, literally walk around in your underwear all day and just do what you do. Do you ain't, you you ain't got to put on no clothes. You don't worry about nobody's kids. None of your kids' friends over spending the night. You can just do what you want. So, I, I think, love it. I think another um, way, another um, another way you'll know that you're an empty nester. That I think for us is that we eat like later now. Yeah. We we eat later. It's not like we need to eat by a certain time. Eat by a certain to, time. Gotta go to bed for school. Yeah. So we doing what we do. We don't cook as much. We cook. Well, we cook. We cook Sunday. Well, she cooks Sunday dinner. I don't. I just eat because you know that's what I do, America. I get my eat on. Yeah, he eats. <laughs> and he's right. I don't cook as much. Um, we will. You know, I only cook three times a week anyway. But now I think I've cut down a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I, I still cook on Sundays, mm -hmm. and um, a lot of times, you know, we eat leftovers. Mm -hmm. We eat. Um, take yeah, out right. yeah we eat out and yeah so another way you know you're empty nester you eat out more <laughs> yeah yeah yes. you'll spend a lot more money seeing like when you're an empty nester too i think another way you can know that you're an empty nester is you have more um discretionary income i think we have more money now that Puda's not here huh right can we have whatever what she need what she gotta have for school she want to do this, do that, so we ain't got to worry about that no more. Because she's a grown woman making her own money now. It's lovely. It's lovely. <laughs> so it's it's very lovely. lovely. So, you know, she asks us, what do we need? I was like, hey. She does, yeah. Hey, hey, we don't need nothing. You just stay, do what you do. Let <laughs> us uh, 
Like she called us, we special. What she called us, adorable. She said we adorable because we. She think we old, but we ain't nowhere yeah. no. Old. Yeah, Puda thinks we're so old. She she thinks we are adorable. Cause there are some things that you know technology is moving very fast, and evidently, um, we're slowing down. So there was things that we had to call Puda, and she had to like walk us through from Japan, and she says that we are adorable. So that's her way of saying that we're old. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Another way that um, I think you might know that you're an empty nester, um, we watch a lot of Netflix, huh? Oh, yeah, we've been Netflixing for real. We have been Netflixing and chilling. Watching and a lot of comedy. I, I'm a big comedy here. I watch any. I can watch comedy series, comedians all day because I like to laugh and they be having me crack it up. So yes. I don't know. Sometimes I think she just ride with me because I'm doing it, but I don't think she. Be like, I don't really want to watch it. But okay, since he watching it. I roll with him. Yeah, cause Mr. B. He I can will. watch the comedy. Show. I can watch it over and over again. Over and over again. Sometimes, yeah. He could be the one that's watching the comic, the comedy, and he's mouthing the words with the comedian, and then you're like, okay, really? You may have seen this uh, one time too many. <laughs> right. Like now, Cat Williams. That's one of our favorites. We've been loving yeah. this new one. Yeah. And she been crying. I ain't never seen her crack up. Oh my lab. gosh. I felt. I seen it before, but it just, she was watching it just the first time she watched it. And she was cracking up loud. I'm like, man, this is really funny. She said, oh, I'm loving this. Be yes, because, you know what? Cat Williams, I like Cat Williams. But this, for that particular um, comedy uh, skit, he was Donald talking Trump. about Donald Trump. And he, like his cabinet, when he, when he selected his cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he, he was like, he selected Hitler. He, Hitler, Satan, Satan, Hitler, Satan, Satan, Darth Vader, and Darth Vader. That was his cabinet. Everybody was dark, you know. You were like, ooh, but it was so funny. It was so funny, and I just could not stop laughing. I think that was one of his best comedy shows um, so far. Right. And so right now we are. We just began watching with Tracy Morgan. Tracy Morgan. We didn't yes. watch all that today, but yeah. we, we didn't finish watching it. We probably end up watching tonight. Yeah. Tracy Morgan, Mike Epps. We Mike were, Epps. We watched them all. We were just cracking up laughing. Just, just cracking up laughing. That's what we do now. And we, my daughter be, you know, because whatever we can see on our Netflix, she can see on hers in Japan. And whatever she see, we can see what she watching. And she be watching some crazy shows. Yeah. And she, I know she be like, they watch another comedy show. She's like, damn, my daddy watching another comedy show. Yes. That's what I like. He, he she knows. And what if he's I watch watching. YouTube, I'm watching 90 videos. I yes. love like 90 music videos. Yes. I mean, I'm lost in the 90s, y'all. I'm, I'm born in 1970, so come on, man. You know, in the 90s was the best decade. You know, if you 40 plus, you know what I'm talking about. That was the best music, you know. I'm a big guy fan, so anytime guys are on, yeah. oh, that's my group. That's his group. I always told you guys, he's the what fourth? I'm the fourth. He's member. the fourth official, unofficial member. Like some of people guys. love new. Uh, I love new edition too. Some people think they're the sixth member of new edition or whatever. I am. I know. No, I'm no, I talk about a lot of guys. They say they oh, the other yeah. guys. So I'm the f fourth member of guys. So. I just think that's he my knows group. they step. He, I, I told y'all before. You know, he knows every yeah, dun dun did that. You know, all of that. He knows. He, he knows the back. He knows what everybody in the background saying when they woo. He know all of that. He, he sing all the all everybody's harmony. Yeah, that's, my <laughs> that's my group. Yeah, that is his group. So, um, how else would you think you would say that we you can we kind of empty nesting? What what have we? What else have we done? Just do what we do. We ain't got to worry about worry about nobody like at the house and checking on her and all that. She, she, we ain't got to do none of that. So which is cool. Now I think another thing, another way we can kind of know that we're empty nesters. Like my car was. I've always had like the family car. I always had the car that you know we SUV. would go traveling in the the SUV. That was my car. I had His car. He always had the sports car. So when it was like him and I. And we, he pull had the top a back. He, we pulled the top back and put the sunglasses hit. on, and hit the road. we hit the road. Now we we didn't travel. We never traveled in your car. We never traveled in his car. We always like went yeah. around town in his car. But 
when we would ride in his car, Puda hated it so bad because it was a Mustang convertible and she had to sit in the back and she was like, the seats were so uncomfortable and she hated she that car. She like, yeah, she just didn't like, remember she didn't like the sun for a long time. Remember? Yeah. We called her vampire. <laughs> I think she, she like it cloudy and rainy. I think you're going to live in Transylvania somewhere because <laughs> you like it. You don't like sunshine. We don't, we, if we come home, all the blinds are closed. Me and her like the shit to be open. I like opening. I like to see the sun coming through the house. I like that natural light, and she don't like natural light at all. I feel like she gonna see the sun and melt or something. So <laughs> she don't like it, you know. For a long time when she was younger, she didn't like. To, remember, she used to wear jackets and be hot. But I like you wear jacket. I don't like the sun. I'm like, baby. Yeah. But she came out of that. She knew out of that. Thank God. But for a long time, she. Yeah. Poor thing. She she kept that jacket on in hundred degree weather. So I know you are melting over there. Yes, that that is true. She she yeah she went through her phases, yeah. and we kind of went through her phase with her because at one time she didn't eat meat. She was a vegetarian. Then she was a vegan. Then she became a pescatarian. Then she was a flexitarian, and every, she just turned to everything. So now she's forced to eat meat because she has to eat what the kids eat over there. But when she was home, um, we kind of kind of rolled a little bit with her a little bit. He did it unwillingly. He just, he figured he had to eat. Yeah, I don't eat, nah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, I'm like your daddy, I'm eating potato, I'm old school. I'm, I, I need some protein in my diet. I can't be eating no, would that try to trick me with some of that, um, some, no ostrich burgers or something. Y'all tell me it was ostrich. Yeah, we told you it was ostrich burgers. Because if Mr. B thinks anything is healthy, he not going to eat it. We tried to get him veggie burgers. He was like, I don't want that. That don't taste good. And we, we tricked him. What's that? Thai we food? had tofu. Tofu. Thai food. Yes. Tofu. But he ate it. He didn't know he was what he was eating. But we gave God to him an ostrich burger. And he ate that. He didn't know it was ostrich. He thought it was turkey. And we gave it, ate, gave it to him. And he was like, oh my God, that was the best. Best burger in the world. I didn't say it was the best. I said it was good. I whatever said, you, whatever you said. Well, it was, it was good. good. Then they said it was. I, I, <laughs> yeah, we told them it was. I, I was throw that thing up. I said, like, I already, she already you said you already went to the bathroom. It's gone now. It's gone now. <laughs> I mean, shoot. I said, does that? I can't eat now. They be trying to trick me. So and then what? Y'all had some kind of mayonnaise in there. That tofu. Uh huh. It was, was the, it the vegan mayonnaise. It was good. Mayonnaise. It was good. He didn't, I didn't even know it. I made potato salad with it. I nah, put I it on his sandwiches. sandwiches. Yeah, but I made the potato uh -huh. salad with it too. He never knew. He he That's never potato knew. Potato salad in America. <laughs> Gotta get it. I'm. Especially for oh summertime, oh my God, potato salad. I want her to put it on, but she she don't want to put it on. I tell her, you know Kroger. If y'all live in the Atlanta area, y'all know about Kroger, and they got the nastiest potato salad you ever had. It tastes like it tastes rancid. Yeah, it's yeah. I was gonna say something else, but yeah, it, it tastes it's rancid. Disgusting. Okay, and I think she needs to go. I need to call the Kroger VIP. Anybody know the Kroger president or the VIP? I want to give them the president. I mean, I want to give them the recipe to that potato salad. Because let me tell you, yeah, he, he's America, been trying. I'm telling you, everybody we the potato salad. We want her to make the potato salad. It, you know how you go to Thanksgiving or uh, Fourth of July or whatever, and you know you want to know who made the potato salad. You want to know who made the beans. You know who made the macaroni and cheese. Who made the macaroni and cheese? When you tell potato salad, that where the where Wani's potato salad at? Where Wani's potato salad at? That's how. My America, I'm not blowing no smoke because she my wife. I'm telling you, my my mama made the best potato salad I ever had. <laughs> she got a. I don't want to tell my mama this, but boy, she make the best potato salad. My mama. <laughs> hey, mama would be mad. What? Yeah, my mama. Yeah, yeah. she would be mad. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> when we go to Thanksgiving, like who, mama, where your potato salad? Oh, it's over there. Okay, I ain't eating nobody else potato salad. Tell me, potato salad make Thanksgiving to me. You know, dressing, greens. Macaroni, macaroni cheese, cheese and a potato salad. And a potato salad. That's, that's the most important thing for Thanksgiving, right? So yeah. that's it. Take salad with the hot wings. Magnifique. I'm Mr. Mr. B, tell me he's gonna get me a food truck. That is his dream. Oh yeah. His dream is for me for us to get a food truck. And retire. And from we will our sell jobs. and we will sell my potato salad and my, and my, and my wings. And, and, and my wings. wings. That, that's his dream. That's my dream. But she can just make it. I told her I get a couple of people. You know, she ain't got to make it, give them the recipe, and we just make it from there. We can just do it. You ain't got to sit back, relax, and just take in all the money. 
Mr. B, I was trying to pimp me. I told y'all. I ain't pimping her. He, he sees me. He see dollar signs. Yeah, That's she, what he sees. She has a talent. You see her videos when she do all this decorating stuff? She has a gift. She finally got into the YouTube now. I don't know what took her so long to do it, but she finally did it. But, you know, hey, either here or there. Now, I'm trying to take this show to another level. If y'all know any VPs that, you know, anybody that work at a TV show, we need to be on TV. <laughs> we need to get paid. I got some advice. I want to take it to yeah. another level. Okay, yeah, you know what? I want to take it to, like, I'll, if y'all, okay, I'm going to take you back. Y'all remember in the 90s, you remember Luke's Peep Show? Oh, no. I'm just saying, I'm not going to take it that drastic, babe. Relax. Anyway, <laughs> I want that kind of environment, but not that kind of environment. You get, I want an adult theme, okay? So, all, you know, all hell, you know, like, talk about any and everything. You know, like, I, it shouldn't be. We adults. Ain't no, we ain't no, what we watching? Put the kiddies to bed. This is grown folk time. I'm just saying, don't you think that would be a good, like, you know, a, a, like 11 o'clock, like late night, like at the Saturday Night Live type of vibe? I'm talking about late night. No. Why not? Because I'm not that type of girl. You ain't got to be that. Let me do it. See. And you sit back and relax and let me, and let okay. me answer all the good, the good juicy questions. I got something for you, America. Okay, we're going to see. Dear, Mr. B, Mr. D. Mr. B. That mean Mr. B. How the hell is Mr. D? I don't know who he is. Yeah, he <laughs> better pay some bills around this bitch. Uh, <laughs> so, we, Mr. B, we had this conversation about two weeks ago. And he wanted to talk about some very, very adult stuff. This is Wani's house. I was like, but he was, but he's like on Wani and Mr. B show, we should be able to talk about anything. Right. Yes. I want your opinion. I want a poll. If you think that we should get an adult thing, no, don't give me. If we think we should give you an adult thing, please let us know, and we'll let you y'all decide our fate. We'll let America decide. It, okay. Okay. America. So that's what it is. You guys can decide if sometimes because I ain't gonna do because y'all do, 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 do it every day. Mr. Let me tell you, Mr. B can take it to a whole nother. I'm not gonna take it there. Don't don't let this innocent face fool you. Listen, <laughs> Please don't. Listen, America, I'm very, I'm very nice. I'm a good guy. Because I'm a I, good guy with sometimes some bad intentions, but everybody got a little bad side to them. We all do. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you might need, you might hear something help you out. I'm trying to help you out in your life. I might give him some advice, some good advice, good sound advice. I told you guys, advice. he always think he gives good advice. Oh, man, y'all like the advice, America, right? But anyway, we need your opinion. We yes. need your vote. Let us know, should we have that every now and then, have an adult theme? Nothing too crazy. I'm not going to go overboard. I know this is her channel, but she want me to be involved. I'll be involved. I need to put some input in it. So, I want him to be involved in the Wani Mr. B show. <laughs> she wants to be. Because Wani's house is always Wani's my house. My baby's so Disneyland. She's so Whatever. Disney. She's so Disney World. I'm just saying. About Whatever. It. And I guess you know what I'm saying? I was just a track. Because I'm that, you know, I'm that dude, and she this this beautiful woman that I love so much. But you know, I try to get her there sometime. What, but America, we go. I need your opinion. Please help us out with this. So let us know below if occasionally. <laughs> could you see how hard yeah, that is? For me? <laughs> yeah, I should let Mister um, B take the lead that he wants to go, or should yeah. we just keep it like? Really nice and sweet, like and boring as hell sometimes. Whatever. It can be boring sometimes. I mean, but I'm just saying, America, we grown. This is grown folks watching this show. I know no little kids are watching it, and if you are, you shouldn't be. And as you see, opposites attract. Ooh. I have the halo, and I got the horns. I'm pushing. At my least he in knows. Right. I'm pushing mine in right is. now. <laughs> America, just let us know, please. <laughs> And, you know, we'll take y'all lead on it. If y'all say y'all want it PG and boring, we'll go PG and Why does it have to be P? Why does it have to be boring? If you just want it the Dewani way. And if you want it my way... Ugh. Oh, boy. <laughs> if, you yeah. want it, if you want it my way, then we it's all good. Be America. careful about what you ask for. That's all I have to I mean, say. I, got, I promise you I'm going to keep it clean. I'm a very mature way. I'm going to raunchy. I'm not now. I'm, I'm going to ask you. I'm, we're just going to have an adult theme. Okay. That's all. Well, let us know. And um, our next Wani and Mr. B show, we decided we're going to try doing, doing it live. 
So yeah. we're gonna do it and you'll be able to talk to us and interact with us. So if you got questions, you wanna ask him or I. Yeah. You guys will be able yeah, to. Man, okay. Yeah, oh Please Lord. <laughs> so guys. I'm here for you, America. I'm here oh, for goodness. you. Oh goodness. So no. guys, we got the week. That's about it, huh? That's about it. That's about it, guys. We're gonna go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to um, let us know down below if you wanna. How would you like the the Wani and Mr. B show to go? Do you wanna do some adult things like Mr. B, or can we just be us? Um, I saw that. What you saw, baby? I saw your mouth twitch. Uh, I didn't twitch. Did America, did I twitch? I'm done. All right. So guys, <laughs> we're about to go. You guys, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town. Welcome to Wani's house. Baby. What? Stop asking me, I'm about to say Wani, Because Mr. I know you should know. What is it? I said welcome to Wani's house. What is it? You can always stop by Wani's house. I'm I was to say, done. welcome to Wani's house. How you welcome them? This is the end. Oh, okay. Well, goodbye. Bye, guys. You <laughs> know how I'm going to deal with you. Anyway, you've been dealing with me 18 years. Oh, gosh. You ain't putting on your what? Timer. Mm, yeah, yeah. Huh?